ready? Fast and furious. Let's do it. How was the walk today? The walk was good. It was fun. We played long. It was a weird day, um, but it was fun. What was your take on the uh, additional length on 13? How'd that play into it? Well, if I was 30, I'd probably be excited about it. Um, and at 63, you know, I think it's an incredible hole. Um, I won't go for it. I don't know how I can, but uh, it ain't about me. It's it's about the best players and how far they're hitting it. I think it's spectacular. You know, today was a day where, uh, you know, the ball wasn't really going as far, and we teed off at nine. Rory hit one bomb there. I think he went at the green with a five, maybe. Um, but Tiger and I and the other, oh, Tom Kim actually knocked it on with a wood. So, uh, you know, it's reachable. It's just a very good hole. Always good to play with Tiger. Always good, yes. Always good to talk to him. And then when we come here, we'll play tomorrow uh, with Justin Thomas. So he, it's just fun to just to tease him and get teased and listen to his stories. How have the conversations changed over the years since you started? Well, they don't really change, you know. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're all about Charlie and Sam, uh, how they're doing. And, you know, he tells me a lot about Charlie, but then because Sam's athletic and my wife is very athletic, so we like to know what Sam's doing. And a little bit of golf, not so much, believe it or not, with Augusta. I mean, you know, if anyone's going to tell me anything, I'll listen to him. But um, I'm not telling him anything about Augusta National. So we just chit-chat, a lot of sports. You know, his caddy, Joe, uh, is a sport, knows everything. And then my caddy for this tournament went to Stanford. So he and Tiger have a little bit of ties. So they, they had a lot of chit-chat. Um, you know, we saw Rose Zhang behind the 12th tee right next to us. And uh, we talked to her. She got a big hug and high five from everybody, Rory and Tiger. And then on the 18th green, uh, my caddy noticed the little girl who won, I don't know her name, but she went to the same grade school or goes to the same grade school right now that Tiger went to. So we, we made her, I don't know, she won the, the yeah. And I want to say the youngest, seven to nine, is that? Yeah, I don't think she was 10 or 11. What was your impression of the way Tiger hit it, just how he looked physically? Yeah. Well, that's two different questions. How he hit it, he hit it really, really well. He pulled a couple drives. But, um, you know, last year we played, he never missed a shot. I never seen anything like it. And then for him, you know, he's just out there just trying to walk around and play. Physically, uh, you know, I, I don't really ask him a lot. I think that's not something when I text him or talk to him really what, what our conversations are about. I think when he tells you I'm only going to play four events and Augusta is one of them, you know, he's ready to go. Uh, it's probably not going to be easy, but uh, I think he'll be fine. Do you see any difference in the way he was just moving around this year as opposed to a year ago? That's a good question. Probably not. You know, I think the leg... I guess this is what I is, is what it is. I don't know how much better it's ever going to get. I don't know if he if it can get better where he can play 12 times. I, I don't think that's going to happen. I think he would tell me that. But um, he's strong enough to hit it a, a mile. He's not hitting it as far as Rory. I don't think many people are, but uh, he's hitting it really strong and solid, and and he looks good. Freddie, what does Rory have? Nothing. I mean, he's just got to play golf, you know, and, and be better than everyone. It looks like this is another prime year. He's playing very, very well. Um, I mean, what does he have to do? You know, I don't know. Is it surprising he's never won this? Of course it is. The way he plays and the way he putts and how high he hits it and how far he hits it. But it's not that easy, you know. So he just does his own deal and plays like Rory can, and he'll be just fine. And then he's got to beat two, four, five people on Sunday. What are we expecting tomorrow night at the Champions Dinner? For food? <laughs> Camaraderie? Banker. Oh, uh, you know, I'm not expecting anything different. Um, 
Hey. Wednesday? Um, no. Uh, you know, I sit in a great spot. So I'm down by all the beautiful people that I've always sat with. And that's not the other ones aren't. What I'm saying is Nicholas, Tiger, Floyd, myself, Sandy Lyle, and then right to the head of the table. So for 20 years almost, Raymond has told me where to sit and how to do it. And I'm not near a whole lot of people. So uh, I, I can't imagine, you know, I've made comments, but you know, I, they need to understand if they've looked at anything I've ever said, I call myself the same stuff I'm calling them. I just don't think they should bash the PGA Tour or anybody. Just go play golf. So tomorrow night will be a great dinner. Um, be a lot of fun. And uh, people have asked me, you know, are you going to get paired? I'm like, I would love to be paired with Phil. I, I, I mean, he's one of the best players to ever play. He loves his place as much as I do. And if we did, we'd look at each other in the first hole and, and we'd have a good time. I, no, no. Is that deliberate or you just haven't, you haven't crossed paths with them as it were? Well, I mean, I just got, I, I played yesterday and I don't think many people were here. Well, they had a tournament, so they're all just getting in there. No, I mean, you know, if someone wants to stop and ask why I'm picking on them, then I, I'm, I'm all for it. But I don't really think I've done anything horrific. I just, you know, they're making comments and I'm replying to them. Two more questions. And uh, that's it. Fred, were you in agreement with was I in agreement with that? Yeah, I think they deserve to be here. You know, the ones that have won and other guys. I don't know how many that didn't win have qualified from either prior tournaments or from the money list. Um, and Bryson's won a major. So, yeah, they, they should be here. Uh, once again, I, I'll say this, and I'll probably say it tomorrow I do a radio show. I have no problem with any of them. Just please do not bash a tour that I have 43 years invested in. It bothers the hell out of me. They don't bother me. They really don't. They're golfers. I'm a golfer. I have respect them all. On my show, I've told everyone Sergio is one of the top ten players I've ever seen hit a ball. But if he's going to make comments about the tour that I play, I, I'm, I'm going to make a comment back. And if it's offensive, I apologize. But uh, they're on another tour. Go play and have a good time. Brooks Kepka, I love. Dustin Johnson. Absolutely love. If I get, I'm not good enough to be paired with those guys. They're going to play with guys who are probably going to win this thing. But I have no problem with anyone on the live tour. I really don't. Fred playing with Tom today. What were your kind of impressions? Oh, I love Tom game? Kim. We we set this up at the President's Cup, and uh, I think he was a little excited when I invited him to play with Rory and Tiger. He he had a blast, and they love him. Rory's played a few times with him. I don't think Tiger ever has, but he's a really really sharp good player. Hits the ball really, really crisp. All right, thanks, you guys. Thanks, thanks,